All right, today's video, we're gonna clean up, wax and sharpen our skis here. If you look at these skis, they're probably at least 10, 12 years old. These are these mini skis. They were pretty popular, I guess about 10 to 15 years ago. I don't know if many people still use these things, but uh, we skied and the kids snowboard and we found some people were skiing on these little tiny things. So we decided to try it. It was so much easier to maneuver and jump back and forth and cut, go forward, go backward on these, on these little skis that we ended up buying two sets of them. And they're pretty old, but uh, they've been sitting on the garage and next weekend I plan on doing some skiing and uh, Miss Oxford 821. So we're gonna clean them up and I'm gonna sharpen them and wax them and I'll show you how I do that. You can see how they're made here. They're adjustable for different boot sizes. They have the automatic brakes on them and you can go pretty much forward or back on it. Uh, we, I've done that before. But if you look closely at this thing, you can see how it's worn off. The wax is worn off and maybe even on the edges here the metal, I feel for any kind of like burrs or little sharp edges, we'll take that off and we'll throw some wax on, on here, clean them up and do some wax. Let me, I got my tape measure here. I'm gonna show you a measurement on these things. So, so just so you know how big they are. So it's 36 inches. So it's a 36 inch ski. We got two sets of them. So let's take care of the first thing I'm going to do is wash them off to make sure to get all the dirt off them because you don't want to try to put wax on top of something that's really dirty. I'm going to turn the camera down here. So we'll just wipe them down. I got a soapy rag. Try to get any dirt or grease that's left on here. And there is some. They've been sitting in the garage for a couple years because we haven't we haven't done any skiing in a while. It's been so busy with other stuff and just other things have just taken priority that we we haven't messed around at all so now they are adjusted for a specific person's person's boot size so they're the exact same ski but one is my set one sets mine and the other set is miss oxford 821 i think this is her set because my set i put a little black sharpie on the points there I just drew something on there so I knew that these were mine. So this set's mine. This set is hers. Let's start, let's start with hers first. So we'll clean them up. And I, I can actually feel some of the, the rag is actually getting caught on some of the, the metal edges on here. So we'll sharpen them up. So hers, hers actually look like better shape than mine. That just means I ski harder than she does, that's all. But she took a big hit up here on the front. All right, so we wipe them off. Let's dry them off. And what brand is it? I don't know what that says. Head Sharp? It's like a sh shape, shapey. I don't know what that says. Just so you can look at this. There's some how it, some of the measurements on it. All right. Well, you can really see a lot of the scratches on there. You can see the deep, you can feel them. And right here, where it bevels off, or where it slopes, is where the most wear is on it. So we'll definitely get some wax on this and get it slippery again. You can see how these brakes are like this. So when you put your toe of the boot in here, and you push down on this part right here, when you push down on this, it brings the lock up like that. So if, you're, if your boot pops off of the ski, this comes down and it stops your skis from rolling down the mountain. So that's what that does. All right, we've got our little block here. Now this, 
This thing here is probably 25 years old. I've had this little sharpening stone probably since I was a teenager. I use it for my knives and all kinds of stuff. So we're not going to go too hard on it, but I can see a little bit of rust on here. A little bit of rust on these edges. And if you feel any kind of a burr, I just slide my stone back and forth on here. Not to get into the uh, ski part of it, where the fiberglass or plastic or whatever this side is, but just on this metal edge. You're not trying to sharpen it to make it like a knife. Just get any of the burrs or any of the rust off of it. And you can see how it, it is actually wearing on the knife, on the stone. You hear that? Right there? There we go. Took care of that one. Yeah, I can feel it. Just that little bit, just that little bit makes it so much, that metal so much smoother now. So that's good. That's all I had to do. Let's do this one. Same thing. Yeah, now when I run my finger on this, especially right here, I feel burr somewhere right here, right here. But we're gonna take that off. Take a look here. So we've got our wax here. This is just regular wax from a store, uh, snowboard and snowboard ski shop. And here's our scraper. So what I do, because I don't use an iron, I don't have one of the irons. I just take the block of wax and you can see how it's angled on this side right here. That's because I just take the wax on ski boards and I just rub it on by hand. I'm gonna to try to hold it up here so you can see what's happening here in the light. So you can see how like I'm scribbling on this and it's actually putting the wax on there just by doing this. Now I'm pushing pretty hard, but we're gonna get a coating of wax across this whole ski and you'll see how I get the wax down into it. But we're just going to do this. See this the scribble, the wax scribble on there. All right. Okay, so let's look at a before and an after. So there's the wax scribbled on this one and not this one. You can see how it fills in the cracks like this compared to this. Now, how do we get that wax to melt down in there? What I use is a blow dryer. And I'm gonna show you how this, this works. Get it on hot. You'll see it start to melt. There you go. It's actually running like water right now. And with the blow dryer, I can blow it back and forth to make it go whichever direction I want. So I'll just work my way down each ski, nice and slow, 
Keep it melting. Okay, so this is this is what the melted wax looks like from the blow dryer. So the air kind of like pushes it in all the little cracks and everywhere it needs to go. So I'll just set that there and I'll just work on this one next. Okay, so that's two done. That's all new wax on that suckers. Hey, look at that. So look what that wax looks like on there. Melted with the blow dryer. It's in there. All right, this part we had to take it outside. We were getting too messy in there. But we got our scraper, and all we're going to do is just... Let me do it this way, just so you can see what's going on here. We're just going to scrape it flush. Just like this. This is a little bit easier than doing a snowboard, because it's just one pass. And you can see on here look at some of the uh, I guess the black plastic from the skis coming off too but it's going to get it smooth Alright, after I scrape it off, I like to just get a brush and brush it down. Just like you were polishing your shoes. Okay, so here's a board that I didn't wax yet. This one's mine. And let's compare it to the one that we just put some wax on. Let's see if it made any difference. What do you think? I can actually, this is almost like sandpaper on here. The one that's not waxed. And here, this is just, this is just smooth. Look at the difference. Put these in the house, these are all good to go. So that's it, waxing the skis. The little mini skis. These suckers are gonna be flying down that hill now. So I'll do my set. I won't film that, cause you just saw what I did, but uh, not this weekend, but maybe a week from now, we're gonna, if there's still snow, we're going back to the farm and we're gonna be trying these suckers out, so. Stay tuned for that one.